Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. We have an action-packed day today, and on our last adventure last week, we ended. We were um, discussing types of selection. So, to, just to make sure you know what's going on with clickers, please. Oh. Ten more seconds on your own. How many people need more time? Okay, a few more seconds then. Okay, now 10 more seconds. And five. On your next exam, you're going to have a question about one of these or one very similar to it, and you're going to have to explain what's right about it or what's wrong about it. So in your discussions, focus on your logic here. Okay, go ahead and get started. Five more seconds. Remember to re-answer even if you didn't change. Okay, you guys got way better. Let's, let's take them one by one and we'll have to move through quickly because we got a lot to do today. Who, who, who wants to defend number one or comment on it, right or wrong? Go ahead. You said it wasn't? Go ahead. It's what? Natural selection is not random. Exactly. Exactly. That's the whole thing about only certain individuals, not random individuals, only certain individuals. Nice. How about number two? What's right or what's wrong? Yes, in the back row, please. A little louder, please. Yes, they didn't, exactly. There was no adaptation until what happened? Say again? 
right, the environment changed, but the individuals did not change, just as you were saying before. So no adaptation. But when would adaptation occur in this scenario, in this example? Go ahead. Yes, when the characteristics of the population change. Then you can say the deeper beaks were an adaptation. It's, it increased fitness in that environment. Good, but the individuals themselves, really nice. Okay, number three. Go ahead. Thank you. Being fit has nothing to do with being stronger. Good thing for me. Okay, number four. Yes? You chose it? Right, you've already seen that, that, that there's a fitness advantage with bees? Yeah, and uh, that's what we chose. Okay, so you thought four was okay. Anybody think four is off? Number five? You guys talked about this last week. Go ahead. Right, the environment's going to change. So you can't say it's going to happen or not going to happen. It's going to, as you guys analyzed last week, it's going to depend completely on the environment. Nice. How about number six? Did the mutations happen because they needed to happen? Go ahead. Yep. So you said no because mutations were what? Right. The mutations are already there. They're just happening at random. And they might be selected or might not be selected. Nice. Really good job. Number seven. There's one word that just lights biologists up in that sentence. It just makes them go, oh, don't say that. Yes. Um, well, it would be like, it's not as high as like, the frogs collecting the small things at the same level, but. Right. It, it, just, it just happens that more maneuverable swallows are more efficient at feeding because they're catching insects on the wing. Does anybody have an idea what that word is that just makes biologists go need? Yeah, there's no need about it, it just happens. And number eight. This one trips students a lot. Go ahead. That's right, it's all about individual fitness. An individual having more offspring or fewer offspring relative to fitness. It has nothing to do with the survival of the, of the species. And we'll, get, we'll revisit that later in the course. Nice job. So what is the correct answer? Four. All right. So we analyze selection as a process that can cause evolution by, by changing.